Folks, I showed you yesterday that water waves are transverse. Today I'll show you how to find the velocity of a water wave depending on if it's shallow or deep. Let's get started and create some waves using these marbles. Now hold on, did you catch that or was it too fast to detect? If it was, let's slow that down. Okay, so the marble created some waves in my container. But here's the thing, if my container has a depth, let's call it D, and that depth is less than 5% of the wavelength of my water waves, well, then it's a pretty shallow water wave. Now let's talk about the formula for the velocity of shallow water waves. If it's a shallow water wave, then its velocity is only a function of its depth. In fact, shallow water waves have velocities that are proportional to their depth. And so we can say the velocity of this particular water wave is going to be given by the velocity is equal to the square root of g, the gravitational acceleration, times d, the depth of my container. So as I release my second marble, you should be able to tell me what's going to happen, right? It's going to be a wave propagating through my container, simply a function of the depth of my container. As weird as it seems, the velocity of my water wave is a function of the depth of my container. Now, we're going to end the show by dropping all the marbles into the container. Three, two, one. And we're done.